Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We really vlog, so if you like today's video, make sure you come back again and again. Uh, Goggins challenge continues. I was successful. My biggest concern with, uh, you call it day two of this challenge, was me getting up. Me going to bed at 3 a.m. and waking up at 6 a.m. Because you guys know Peter Brookhart and Sarah Brookhart sometimes don't wake up to our alarms. Um, so I slept on the couch. I had like 15 alarms between multiple Alexa machines. But made the mistake of uh, showing off my Mickey tattoo this morning rather than putting some long sleeves on. Because, oh, it's cold here in Florida. This is Florida cold. This is the one thermostat I ran past said it was 51 degrees. Yo, it's cold for Florida. Also, Park Avenue, what's going on? The street's gonna be closed this weekend for a Mother's Day celebration? There's like news stations out, I think like recording morning segments. I'm like, what's going on Winter Park? What do you mean you're having a Mother's Day celebration? So I'm gonna research that later, but TBD, I gotta finish this run. All right, so I'm showered, rolled out. I have coffee brew and I got a protein shake, big old water, big old cereal. Sleepy Eve, who's now woken up from the cereal. And my work laptop ready to go. Some Good Morning America. Let's get this work day started. So I had a weird twinge in my foot. I'll have to work on that when I come back. Um, it is 11 o'clock. Finish up with a meeting. I have all my programs set, so it's actually like I'm taking my lunch break now to go do this workout, but or maybe I won't be. Maybe I'll put my next one as my lunch workout because right now I just set up a program to run that I can't do anything on my computer while it runs, and it's going to take about 70, 60, 60 to 70 minutes to run. So I'm going to go do my. It was supposed to be at 10 o'clock, but I had a meeting then, so it's my 11 o'clock. So I actually had. I haven't run since 6 a.m., but so it's great. Like I had an extra hour of like time to recover, but. I'm gonna stick to my two o'clock time, so that just means that I have less time to recover between this one and my two, well I have a two o'clock meeting, so it's gonna be more like a 2.15, 2.30, probably a 2.30 start time for the next one, but then I'll be done interfering with work. But I made this choice so that I could have a bit of a weekend with finishing Saturday afternoon and have all, the rest of Saturday and all of Sunday rather than starting this Friday night and going until Sunday night and the whole weekend being this. But I gotta go. My we're getting to a point. <laughs> Do you hear Schmidt? We're getting to a. We're getting. It's. It's getting there. It's getting there. I have a combination of like I'm just tired and I meant to take a goo earlier, and I have a caffeinated goo from Martin's. And I'm gonna eat really quick and hope it doesn't upset my belly. I hope I. I don't. I didn't take it too soon into the run. Um, it actually gets to be used. The cool part is, is you're 24 hours in, so you're halfway through. Yeah. After um, the after this. Oh, I'm sorry, you're not 24 hours in. After this run, you'll be halfway through. Halfway, yeah, we'll yeah. be 24 hours until 6 o'clock. Yeah. A little stressed because I have a phone call. Um, I have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with one of the, the analysts on my team at 3.30. So I have to, like, go. And yeah. I was hoping to take For this one little, slower. A little lunch. But I have to I have to go out and at least do a decent enough pace. Unless I just come back and splash water in my face before I get on this Zoom call. But, yeah, um, you got it. I got it. So I just got the vlog up. I have a new girl on. Um, but I don't know if you guys watch Dead to Me, the show on Netflix. A new season is coming out today. And I know that Peter, I actually watched that when I would be on the treadmill at our old apartment. And so Peter didn't watch it. And so I don't know if this weekend's the right weekend to watch because I kind of want him to see it because it's a really good show. Um, but he'd have to watch the whole first season. I don't know. So I might potentially watch that today. I actually have some edits for the World Marathon Challenge booklet. Um, so hopefully I'll make those and get it sent off to print soon. All right, run number five, halfway done with the exercises. I heard on the news what this is. They're closing down Park Avenue all weekend. They're closing down Park Avenue to let the restaurants put tables in the street so they can 
to offer more Mother's Day weekend dining options while social distancing. That's clutter. All right, I will say, I was very disheartened at the beginning of this run. I was worried about how I felt at the moment. I think because I just woke up from a nap and I think I didn't anticipate, which is good to learn now, looking, looking forward to my next couple of runs, is how stiff my body's getting in between the runs from just hanging out on the couch between. It gives me the feeling that like, I'm done running, I can't do this. But within a quarter mile, third of a mile, like the body's all limber again and I feel really good. Even the fascia pain in my left foot is not too bad right now, but I wanna show you Park Avenue because this is, it feels very weird after going on eight weeks of being um, home and not near anybody. They are closing Park Avenue, as you saw a sign earlier, from two to midnight every day this weekend for Mother's Day so that the restaurants can accommodate more people. But I'm not gonna show too much of it because there's a lot of people here. Um, but I'm kind of just heartened by, I thought the idea was restaurants could put tables out on the street so they could be more distant. To me, it looks like they're putting tables out just to maximize tables. They are so close. And I've, I've probably seen about 250 to 300 people. On uh, this street right now, it's very busy, very packed. I might not, I don't think I'm gonna run at home because it's so busy. And I've only seen maybe three masks. Everybody, there's a big restaurant down here. About 100 people, probably. Maybe like 75 people. All the tables super close, not a single mask on in the whole joint. When it comes to the, the guests, I'll call them. Um, if, if I knew coming down the street that it was like this, I would have worn a mask. I don't wear a mask when I run because I typically run right before curfew and nobody's here or I hop across the street before I see anybody. Um, but I need to cut a different route out of here because it's real busy. It's really that street down there, the other section of Park Avenue, where there's the streets flooded with tables. But you can see, it's like almost a, like a block party scenario where like everybody's just walking or hanging out on the street. Like I say, I say there's a lot of people and it may not seem like it from here, but it's that next block down that it is packed. Peter's back from his run, he's already in the meeting. Um, but I'll let him give the recap, but he did say it was hot and tough. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna eat these french fries and read Becoming Michelle Obama's book because I have not finished it yet and the new documentary has inspired me to pick it back up um, it's Friday I'm gonna take it a little bit easier today not like I've been doing a ton of work a lot of people don't really need my freelance design work right now but we're getting through it um, but yeah I think I'm gonna just Take some time and read. All right, I just took like an hour nap, hour and ten minute nap. Did you talk about your last run? You said you were back. I'm sore from my last run. Um, it was hot during it, um, and I was in a time crunch to get back for work. So, but I'm done now. So, like this six o'clock run, I can take as slow as I want, and I think I need to to it's like just. Friday. And it's Friday. Um, but I'm gonna eat these French fries even though I'm supposed to go on a run in. 10 minutes, I'm gonna eat these french fries and then get ready to go. So I'm taking it cooler, or like slower. Um, hopefully the french fries are fine. I'm getting a little worried about my left foot. I'm hoping it's just some inflammation coming in that's the pains from it. But I keep rolling it out and maybe we'll ice it when I come back from this one or come up with some kind of game plan, maybe some. Have you changed your panels. shoes? Yeah, that could be it. I think I might need to just stick with my piano if they're more support. Yeah. Um, that's where we're at. I needed that hour and a some, half. Some pasta. Oh. That I'm gonna eat. Um, with like some of the veggies that I made yesterday. But I slept. I probably took like a ten minute nap. But I have a bad headache today. What the heck? Yeah, the great work that they're doing there. And uh, so I just wanted to sing a song kind of dedicated to him. We're watching this concert over Zoom. We got invited. It's like a special Vanderbilt put on by Vanderbilt University, I believe. Um, concert that's being put on for a bunch of these different charities that have been doing some great work. And ACS, we got invited by ACS to like go to the Zoom because there's only so many. I think there are mm -hmm. only 500 people allowed in. And I heard, what did they say in the email? Like Luke Bryan might be showing up yeah, later. Yeah, Luke Holmes. Luke Holmes. 
Yeah, so they're sharing like different stories of how COVID has affected them in performing. Don't mind Eve asleep on the background. <laughs> All right, I pulled up the actual email. It's called Quarantunes Concert, being put on by the Vanderbilt University Medical Center and the CDC Foundation. We promise that she's okay. There's nothing wrong with her. That's just how she sleeps sometimes. Oh, gosh. She knew. She had to get comfy. That was cute. All right, it's just under, t or it's 10 o'clock on the dot now. I'm actually more prepared. I'm actually already changed and everything. I just need to walk out the door. Um, time to go do it. After this run, I'm telling myself like I get a almost like a kind of a little break because I'm not going to run at 2 a.m. I'm doing those workouts again. Funny enough, we just found out Orange County's getting its curfew lifted on Monday. So if we had our curfew lifted now instead of Monday, I could actually mm -hmm. go run at 2 a.m. But I'm gonna do those workouts anyway. They're nice to get a break of like different kinds of stresses and pulls in the body um, rather than running. So, so what are you gonna do while I'm gone? Wearing the same shirt as yesterday. Um, I don't know. Maybe watch Dead to Me. Ooh, I didn't watch the first season. That was like Sarah's thing. So, so, so you should do that. I am home. I'm gonna make a. Martin's 160 drink mix. Um, I'm gonna drink this and a big old thing of water and try to get some sleep. It's almost 12 already before the 2 a.m. workout. Um, but I feel really good still. I feel really good. Just can tell, can feel the mu the muscle fatigue, but just got four more workouts left. I just commanded our family room on without saying, you know, her little A L E X A's name and then left, because it was pretty funny. But it's 2 a.m., I don't know if you expected to see me, but since Peter's 10 o'clock run, we just like relax, and then Peter tried to get a little bit of sleep. I'll let him tell you if he got any or not. Um, and I watched Dead to Me. I haven't gotten all the way through it, but I watched way more than I expected. Um, and so I said I would stay up and make sure that he woke up. Um, here he comes. I'm very tired. It's time to work out. Hey, at least you don't have to go outside and run. Yeah. For four hours. I'll Let's go do, do the this. message so you can just do it, sign off, and get some sleep, okay? Deal. Allow beauty to shatter you regularly. The loveliest people are the ones who have been burnt and broken and torn at the seams yet still send their open hearts into the world to mend again and again and again. Victoria Eckertson. Oh gosh. I'm gonna go to bed so I don't, I don't watch you because I don't like when people watch me. I'm, I'm not sleeping, I'm just looking <laughs> at the workouts. Okay, sign off from me. It's good to be home. All right, 10 to three, um, did less intense the two videos I did yesterday, I was talking to uh, Grant about it earlier. They were very intense, which was good. Um, but for being, you know, 36 hours or whatever I am into this um, home stretch kind of feel, I'm glad, I'm happy with what I did. I did two classes again. One was a dance cardio, that was the second one. That was more like stretching, keeping the heart rate going, sweating. The first one was more of a core workout, working on basically the core, a lot of sit ups, crunches, and stuff like that. Um, along with some good solid stretching. But I'm gonna take a quick shower and try to get some more shut-eye before the 6 a.m. run. It's just under three o'clock, so if I'm quick, I could get at least two and a half good hours in there. So thank you so much for following along with this fun little challenge. And uh, we're at the home stretch already. Tomorrow is the day. It's good to be home.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.